I'm Gun and I'm a music producer. I got all the songs that my brothers downloaded, which was hip hop, Dr. Dre, 50 Cent, Eminem, you name it. Soulja Boy was a really big influence for me. I saw the way he made music and I was like, I want to make music like that too. So using YouTube, I studied what software did they use, what keyboards, instruments, everything. And that really like ignited the fire inside me. The internet literally inspired me to do what I love. I'm Holly. I use social media, but for a while I didn't. When I go out with my friends, we can take photos of each other. We can organise where we're going to go, who we're going to see. There's this one girl I follow on Instagram. She's at a university at the moment. She always eats healthy and goes to the gym. And in the captions, she writes how to do it. And that really inspires me. My name's Sam. I love designing and developing video games. Gaming is my passion. It's what I'm getting involved in. It's what I want to base my whole life around. And I thought this is such a huge and important part of my life. I don't really want to stop. Whilst I was making music, I did use the internet quite a bit. I was on social media. As soon as I wake up, I'll be on, load it up, scroll, 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 and I just got sucked in. From 4 o'clock till 1 o'clock in the morning, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'd always be tired at school. I couldn't, I couldn't focus in class. I noticed with me and most of my friends that we were looking at photos and we're setting unrealistic goals for ourselves. Social media is a big part of that. We begin to create profiles that aren't necessarily the truth. They're an idealised version of ourselves. I want to be talking to people rather than face down on my phone. And when I am face down, I feel like I'm less approachable. I started to get really awful headaches from staring at the screen too long. I was spending far too much time gaming. It's not the easiest way, but what I did was just go cold turkey. I deactivated all my social media profiles and I just stepped off for like a week or two. When I felt I was ready to come back, I started it all up again. I added friends I actually cared about, not any random people that I see around school. Once I sorted it all out, I felt like I was using it positively. I set myself a week where I said I wasn't going to do it on any social media. I suggested to my friends, why don't they do a detox as well with me? We could support each other. It was actually really good because if there was an emergency, people could contact me, but I wouldn't be using it recreationally. For example, when I go to sleep at night, I'll put it on airplane mode and I'll put it on my desk away where I can't reach it. And when I do my schoolwork, I'll put a timer on and I'll put it on aeroplane mode again because I don't need it. I felt liberated. I decided to make a change. I started by cutting down my game hours during the day gradually, not all at once. I started treating gaming as more of a reward for other accomplishments. I've been able to focus on production and designing of games and really I wouldn't have been able to do what I do today if I hadn't cut back on the gaming I did. So making these changes has had a real benefit and I haven't stopped. I still game a lot, just not nearly as much. <laughs> I made our first three, four beats and I uploaded these to YouTube. My subscriber count went from 600 to 1,000, from 1,000 to 3,000, 6,000, 10,000, 15,000. I went from messing around in the music software just for fun to getting royalty checks from radio stations and getting splits from album sales. I launched my website and on there I put all my beats on and people just go on there, buy the beats they like to use on their own projects, their own mixtapes. But once my music started getting on the radio, hitting the charts, my cousins heard it, they told their parents and they told my parents. They finally understood what I was doing and uh, how big it was. I'm going to university to study computer science because I love computers. I'm at my school today giving a presentation to a young group of students. We teach the students on how to use the internet but in a way that benefits them and not in a way that becomes a distraction to their life. I taught myself how to code online tutorials, mainly just practice. It's like learning a language. I co-founded a game development studio that works on flash games for younger players. I work here from my bedroom. My boss, Zander, lives in California. I just got accepted into one of the best universities in the world for game design and architecture, which I'm really excited about. I've got to start getting ready to move to Holland to start learning in the summer. In the future, I do want to still keep the balance of being able to spend time on my phone, enjoy social media, but also with my family, friends, doing other stuff. If there's one piece of advice that I could give, it would be to not feel like you have to be on it all the time. It's not a necessity, it should be something to enjoy. Don't forget the real world and the real you. Try and improve yourself. You could use the internet to make you or break you. You can use social media, you can use videos to distract you away from life, or you can learn how to control it and use it in a positive way. Come this far from doing just that, and I know I can do much better using the internet.